Hello and welcome to Sindor Tutorials. In this video, you'll learn how to sync daily summaries from your sales channels into QuickBooks Online with Sindor. I'll show it on the example of Shopify, Stripe and QuickBooks Online, but the flow will be nearly the same for all other sales channels, so stay tuned. First, once you sign up with Cinder, select how it can help you. If you just need to sync the data to your books, select Cinder Sync. If you also need a live reporting software inside of Cinder, select Business Insights and check out our other videos to see how this tool works. Next, just filling all the required fields. If you're an accountant, you might think of it as of setting up a client. You will be able to connect more clients later. If you're not an accountant or a bookkeeper, but you have one, it's definitely a good idea to invite them right away. Once done, click Next, and now we are to select your sales channels. See the list available here as well. We recommend connecting literally each platform, especially if you have an e-commerce store like Shopify with several payment gateways like Stripe. And no worries, there will be no duplicates and the information will be taken from all connected sources. I'll go with Shopify and Stripe today, but the flow will be the same for all other platforms. Speaking of accounting platforms supported at the moment, you can connect QuickBooks, Online or Desktop, Zero, or in Build Cinder Accounting module. I'll go with QuickBooks Online today, however, daily summaries are also available for Zero and will be gradually enabled for other accounting platforms, so double check if they're already available for your accounting platform too. Now let's select the sync mode. Per transaction sync mode is good if you want to sync every single transaction to your books individually. If you track product costs, taxes per state or country, customer invoices, customers and inventory quantities. Daily summary sync mode is perfect if you have hundreds or thousands of transactions and you don't want to overload your QuickBooks with individual transactions. So you just want one journal entry posted daily from each sales channel. Also, here you can track cost of goods sold, taxes totals, accounts receivable totals, income by product or SKU, and you can simplify the reconciliation. Note that it won't be possible to track individual customers, individual products and their inventory, as well as individual invoices on the accounts receivable account in QuickBooks. We'll go with daily summary sync mode today. At this tab, let's connect your accounting platform. Cinder will work with its data in a super secure mode and you'll be able to undo the synchronization anytime, so no worries. Just make sure you're an admin of the accounting platform and hit connect. Then select your QuickBooks company, if you have several, and hit Next. Now it's time to connect our sales channels one by one. If you are an admin, just follow Cinder instructions. In case with Shopify, we need to copy the Shopify store name like this, paste it into Cinder, and hit Connect. Make sure you don't paste anything that goes before or after the Shopify store name. We'll do the same with Stripe. If you are not an admin, invite the owner through this option and let them securely enter the credentials on their end. Then you'll be able to proceed. Since I'm the admin, I hit connect. Cinder will redirect us to the Stripe page where we can log into the existing account. And if you're already logged in, just hit connect and that is it. And the next step would be just hitting finish connection and you're ready to go. Now Cinder is importing several days of your data from all connected sales channels into your Cinder account. As we have the data imported, we'll see it in the Summaries tab. Cinder will gather all transactions from each platform daily and combine them into one journal entry. So with Stripe and Shopify, I will have around 60 62 journal entries monthly in total. Now an important point. Pricing in Cinder is based on the number of orders or sales a business has per month, combined from all platforms. So the pricing works the same for both daily summaries and per transaction sync mode. As for Cinder, it's still the same amount of job, just the result in QuickBooks is different. Now we can see some summaries here, and we also see two columns with the statuses – transaction status and sync status. Transaction status reflects the readiness of all the transactions for the day to be synced to your books as the daily summary. For example, Fully fetched means that all transactions from this day are ready to be synced. You can also see fetching status, which means that transactions are still importing from the connected integration. Sync status reflects the state of the synchronization of the summary to your books. For example, ready to sync means that you can sync it to your books. You can also see synced, which means that the journal entry was posted to your books. I have some fully fetched and ready to sync summaries here, so I will be able to sync them to QuickBooks as soon as I'm done with the setup. 
Accordingly, there are different autosync options in Cinder. Every day autosync will post a summary as soon as the day is over. Fully fetched autosync, the recommended option, will post a summary as soon as all the transactions from this day are available. Now let's see how the mapping works. At this step, we just tell Cinder what parts of transactions should hit certain accounts in QuickBooks, and it can be easily adjusted to your needs. There are different setup options. You can do a very basic mapping, you can also do it by products, regions, and classes. Feel free to check out our other videos to see how they work. We'll go with all available options today so you can see which mapping suits you better. Mapping by product. Firstly, you can map your revenue differently, either by sales channel or by individual products. Mapping by sales channel is available when this group by product toggle is disabled. It means that all income from Stripe in this case will hit just one income account in QuickBooks, and you can also change it if needed. Mapping by individual products is available when this toggle is enabled. Cinder then pulls up the product list from your sales channels and you can map the product separately. So so even though it's a daily summary that will be synced, you are able to see this revenue split into different income accounts based on products. Mapping by region. This toggle is helpful in case you need to track taxes or sales by states or countries. When it's disabled, you can map all of the taxes to one account. Once it's enabled, Cinder will give you the region column so you can map different taxes accordingly. And if needed, you can do the same for other lines too. Mapping by classes. Cinder also supports classes, so if you want to categorize your transactions even more, enable this feature, and you'll be able to assign a certain QuickBooks class to the lines of the summaries. And make sure that classes are created in QuickBooks beforehand. In my case, classes are used to differentiate between Stripe and Shopify, so you can do a similar mapping if you need to see sales by channel. Finally, Cinder will give us the suggested mapping, so we can go with it right away. Just select the accounts needed. Once done, save mapping, and Cinder will be able to create new accounts for you if they are missing in your books. Now let's sync the summaries to QuickBooks. For that, select the summaries and click Sync. In order to check the results, just click See in Books to see the whole journal entry. As you see, different lines show up here, and the amounts are going to the accounts you mapped previously. Here is also how it looks in the profit and loss report. Different accounts show up here, and here is the classes breakdown, so we can compare Shopify and Stripe. If needed, you can undo the sync, change mapping, refresh the summary so the new mapping could be applied, and resync it. Now let's go ahead and import some old transactions by clicking this Import Historical Data button. On a trial, you can only import 10 summaries, so the transactions for the 10 days. Going forward, you will be able to import months or years of data depending on the subscription level. Just select the platforms, set the time range, and click Sync Now to sync summaries right away to your books. You can also go the Import for Review option to import summaries into Cinder first, and then sync them to your books in bulk. Cinder also provides you with one-click reconciliation, so all you need to do at the end of the month is just to confirm all the matches we've done for you in the bank feed. And once you make sure you're good with the sync, you can finish the configuration by subscribing to any of the suitable plans and automating the sync. Now you know how daily summaries work in Cinder. You can also find plenty of useful guides and video tutorials in our knowledge base, and for any additional help, just apply to us via chat, phone, or email, as we're available almost 24-7. Have a good journey with Cinder!